in this video you will learn what is the permissible stress of steel what is the permissible stress for steel what is the factor of safety why this factor of safety of concrete and steel are differ and lastly we talk about the table where you find the permissible stress value for steel last video hello friend i am sammedip back to with new tutorial video regarding permissible stress for steel in wsm method at rcc lecture video in my last video i discussed about permissible stress for concrete so in case you missed this video definitely go to playlist section otherwise you find the i button in the right hand corner side so go and check out and if you learn something new from my content so definitely make sure hit a like button and share and subscribe my channel because it helps youtube algorithm to reach out to more people and it's motivate me for making such kind of video so let's get started what is the permissible value of steel permissible stress for steel so permissible stress for steel that means ultimate stress for steel divided by factor of safety for steel factor of safety of steel it is 1.78 see one thing in rcc concrete and steel using same time why the concrete factor of safety concrete factor of safety is your 3 and 4 and why the factor of steel is 1.78 my question is that so what is the dif why this difference why this difference see when you talk about steel it comes from it comes from factory where you will find better quality control number 2 lack of variation controlled weather and skilled labor but when we talk about concrete anyone can make concrete so we can say unskilled labor variation in proportion that means say m 10 1 is to 3 is to 6 some due to some accidentally 1 is to 4 is to 8 they are making so that that will be not m 10 we are pretending m 10 but this is not a m 10 number 3 lack of quality control over compaction or less compaction maybe lack of curing then crack may be occur so these are the various scenario that is why factor of safety of concrete is 3 and 4 whereas steel it is 1.78 that is the main reason why factor of factor of safety of concrete is more than factor of safety steel hope that we hope that is now clear to you now we talk about the permissible stress value permissible stress value 
we use either ms that ms means fe 250 medium tensile stress but still we did not use so much and that is high yield strain that was the hyst that starts from fe 415 so for diameter up to 20 mm ms is 140 newton per mm square where high yield steels high yield strength deform bar 230 newton per mm square over 20 mm that means 25 32 36 it is 130 newton per mm square and it is 230 newton per mm square compression because when you talk when you, when we uh, talk about double reinforcement then sometimes steel are using compression zone we'll discuss it further in type of beam why we provide the steel in compression zone <coughs> uh, if you know then definitely do a comment in my comment section in compression zone that is 130 and this is 190 for hysd and compression bar in beam or slab when compressive resistance concrete is taken into account the calculated compressive stress surrounding concrete multiplied by 1.5 times of modular ratio sigma sc which is lower this just you can refer but when you design in wsm and practically we all things are designed by lsm method but for learning purpose when you design the wsm method you have to uh, use either this value or this value or this or this okay so yeah uh, this is a short and simple video regarding permissible stress for steel where i discuss what do you mean by permissible stress what is the value of factor of safety for steel and what is the difference why this difference the more value and the uh, lesser value of factor of safety and then we talk about the permissible stress value for steel so yeah if you have any kind of doubt do comment in comment section i am very glad to answer your question and yeah if you feel some you get some value from this video then definitely and share this content to your friends relative and groups and subscribe the channel for getting such kind of beautiful video regarding civil engineering so yeah thank you for watching this video in next video we we will talk about we, we will talk about the type of beam yeah with this said thank you for watching this video see you soon take care bye bye